Hello again, and uh, this time we are in the Mazda at Sakuba Circuit. Hope I'm saying that right. I never really thought about saying it out loud before, but that's where we are. Uh, full circuit. I've uh, been doing a lot of uh, road racing lately. Um, that's because it's kind of lower pressure for me. Um, I'm around a lot of like higher level stuff on the oval side. Like uh, I want to do an ARCA race here soon, but uh, it's a little bit more pressure on me um, being on the top split of one of those and um, having raced with a lot of the guys before and so if you make a mistake then it's like everyone knows what you did <laughs> so um, whenever I'm kind of feeling uh, anxious anxiety is bothering me but I want to do a race it'll be uh, you know just something in the rookie Mazda you know uh, you know I obviously still don't want to make mistakes but uh, it's a little easier on me, I think. I can just kind of focus on having some fun. Um, so yeah, uh, qualifying, we're going to show the qualifying here. I was fifth in practice, but basically tied with the guy in sixth. I think he was one thousandth of a second behind me. And um, honestly, I think... Uh, the guy that had the fastest lap in practice, his last name was Ferrari, so I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> like that seems like an unfair advantage like let me just think here um, if I had a name some some fake obviously fake name like I don't know Lake Speed or something then I feel like that would be an unfair advantage you know having the last name Speed I right, know that's too goofy maybe like Scott Speed or something some obviously fake name then I feel like that would just be an unfair advantage you know being a race car driver the last name Speed that's what I'm thinking here with the Ferrari guy. Like, you can't have the last name Ferrari. That's just, that makes you too fast by default, so. Um, this lap basically doesn't count then, so. I was fourth in practice, as far green as I'm flag, concerned. And lap times. Obviously kidding. But, um, who knows okay, how they stack up in this, uh, in this lobby, which I assume is, you know, top split rookie monster or whatever it is. Which, you know, oxymoron, top split, rookie. <laughs> so it is what it is. But uh, I love this track. Uh, Sakuba. Uh, I feel like I've probably talked about it before. Because I know I've raced here before. And blabbed about it already. But uh, discovered it on Gran Turismo and raced it a lot on there. And so I'm a little more familiar with it than uh, other tracks, as I'm more focused right now on talking than doing a decent lap, so maybe I should pay attention <laughs> to what I'm doing this next lap. Um, I don't, it's just a fun course. I like it. I don't know if that's the popular opinion. I don't know what people think of this circuit. It's free on here, I'm pretty sure. One more lap. But uh, I like it a lot. And I'm always uh, happy to come on by. That lap time was so this is the part where I actually try. Because <laughs> that lap stunk. Um, I'd love to get like a sub 104. That's kind of right around where my best lap is. But I'm still messing up this lap. So that's probably not going to happen. Probably going to be one of those races I just take it easy. Let guys wreck out in front of me. Blah, 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 blah. Just have some fun. That's what road racing is to me. Not too worried about the uh, I rating and all that. I am always worried about keeping it clean, keeping the safety rating high, because that's important to me to be a good competitor and not be a m complete menace. So, no matter what I'm doing, I'll take it seriously try to you know have fun but still be a good competitor so uh, that lap was a little faster but not really all that much so sixth and now all right back to seventh I went from seventh to new lap of bring me in sixth and back to seventh or something like that but whatever I'm not too concerned um, not the slowest yet these guys might still be on laps but uh, you know, yeah, see, they still haven't done their second lap, and then 
they still haven't done their second lap. So I'm probably going to get <laughs> slowest of the those who qualified still. But, I mean, I'm not crazy far off or anything. I'm about 10th off. And I know I can run right around here. Probably about 5th if I'm not distracted. So... Plus, I haven't raced in a while. Anxiety's been bad lately, so I haven't been racing. And I got a new job, so, um, you know, that combined with not feeling 100% uh, mental health-wise. Um, not much racing going on, which is too bad because there's lots of fun races this week, and I want to hopefully get as many of them in as I can before they switch out. Definitely want to do ARCA at Kansas. I mean, that's just my type of track. Um on the high side of a mile and a half, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I love that stuff, so hopefully want to get the chance to do that. Why I didn't continue driving around the track, I don't know. It's just habit to park it and sit there and stare at the screen for a while, but, <laughs> um, you know, there's nothing to think about here. There's no open setup like there was in week 13, so don't have to worry about taking a one click on my fuel and getting a thousand miles an hour faster like I did before <laughs> or you know no uh, baseline slash advanced setups to choose from that would be a uh, that would be quite the cheat code to come in here to rookie mods and just be like haha advanced set and then blow everyone away because <laughs> uh, those do seem to be a decent bit faster I guess the trade-off is you know it's okay it's easier to drive for the rookie series but not as fast, and then like, you know, the advanced ones, those are faster, but a little uh, more on edge. I assume that's the trade-off. Um, I would prefer the advanced set, but um, normally they're uh, doing tracks I don't own and cannot afford. So here we are at Sakuba. Still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, it's a fun track. Don't mind. Kind of looks like a... Uh, that's one of those things, like a staple remover. Kind of looks like that to me. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. That's what I think the track shape looks like. Um, as always, there will be... Uh, what are they called? Chapters in the video, so you don't have to hear me talk about stupid stuff like the shape of the track. Looking like office supplies. Because who wants to listen to me talk about that? Um, I'm currently in 8th. It looks like almost everyone's qualified, so that's interesting. It looks like that guy went off track or something on his first lap and maybe just gave up, or hopefully he's doing a second lap. Maybe we'll get a, going a little sooner than expected, but... Uh, if not, just got a little more time. I think some people just did one lap and called it a day, so I don't think we're going to be able to go. Still waiting for that. Just right here, just put a button right here that says uh, skip quality or end qualifying. And uh, you press it if you don't plan on doing any more laps, and then everyone can go right on ahead. I mean, we already have like a reset car in practice, you know. So if you want to reset your car, blue button under here. If you want to put it under here, I, I racing, you can go ahead and do it. End qualifying. There, everybody's ready to go. All right, let's go. And then no one has to wait anymore. But maybe there's a reason they can't do that. Maybe I don't know anything about programming and they're all laughing at me. But I think it's a good idea. And that's just me. But I've blabbed on enough that we have now run out of time to wait. We are starting an eighth as the eight car. Funny how that works out. Let's, uh, let's, let's do a race or whatever. Let's do a race thing. Don't, don't, that sounds bad out of context. Let's race is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Let me uncheck the stuff I don't need. Don't think I'm going to be making a green flag pit stop here unless my car is in shambles. Don't think I'm gonna be needing to get some fuel, so we won't have that on. I'm gonna take a look around me. Hey, it's the guy with the Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari is his last name. I told you I was I wasn't lying. 
He had the fastest time in practice, and he's seventh, so that's probably bad news for me. That probably means everyone around me is faster. <laughs> so, um, at least we'll get a good view of the race in front of us, unless I fall back that far. Um, it's probably going to be plenty of fireworks in the first couple corners, as is tradition, I racing. You know, first corners. Truly a spectacle for those uh, fans on over there under the balconies to enjoy. Balconies? No. What am I thinking? Awning. Under the awning? That's what I'm thinking of, I think. Uh, lights are gonna appear here any second, because it looks like just about everyone's queued up. And zero seconds, so the there it is. Uh, turtles okay, Colton, getting ready to go. go, launching out of a cannon, Green flag, and Green we're flag. off. Someone got a weird start, I think. This guy's diving up here, giving no room on the here. Let's run into the back of it. That's the way to be. Still there. Just go Three ahead and run the guy in front of you. Still there, hold your line. Clear. We're clear, he says. Don't know why we're breaking in this corner. You don't break in this corner. Throwing me off here. Maybe they're just uh, taking it easy extreme mode. Level 2 taking it easy. That guy just drives in the grass for some paranormal reason. It really looked like he just drove over there, like on purpose. I have to guess that wasn't his plan. But you could have fooled me. You got, ooh, he almost hit me from behind. <laughs> As I was looking at those guys getting into each other. He's being spun. Wow. So the uh, iRacing first lap action has continued on to the second lap, it would appear. That's my favorite. When the whole race is chaotic evil. Uh, we're off track. We're gonna let him go, because that looks like a bad place to be. Give an extra room. It gave as much room as possible, because... I mean, look at that. They're driving in the grass with no one around them, so you don't even have an excuse there. Except for the excuse that it is rookie Mazdas. So, begin with that oxymoron. Top split rookies. Gotta remember what we're dealing with here. And that is people like me. Running a blazing fast three, four seconds off my best time as I tiptoe around the field here. We've gone backwards because I fear death. But I shall avoid it, hopefully. That is the plan. Now that it's settled down a little bit, is this guy going to drive in the grass inexplicably again? I don't know. Almost. Okay. So the guy behind us is damaged, I assume, because they're falling off and they're the two cars. So I assume they have some sort of damage that's making it hard for them to race properly. Trying third gear here. It's, it's harder to turn. So I don't know what the plan is there, but um, what was I talking about? <laughs> Something about racing Mazdas. Um, oh yeah. Seems like everything's sorted out a little better. We're still kind of close. There still could be contact here any moment, but kind of out of that scary phase at the start of the race where everyone's just running into each other. We can actually kind of put in halfway decent laps now. I'm 
another race I'd like to do this week. Formula V. Looks like they're like on a bigger course or something. I heard people talking about something changing with the Formula V, but I don't know what it is. Someone's like, what's up with the Formula V? And I'm like, I don't know. I haven't heard anything. And then I never found out what it was. So something's up with the Formula V and maybe I'll find out soon. The leader has just done 103.90. But now we're just finding out that I am slow. That was That's all we're finding out at this moment. The car behind is pitting. Why are we breaking to unseen heights or lows, I guess it would be the case. Things just have no power, so it's hard to really find a way to get past someone. Maybe I just don't have talent. That could be it, too. So, theoretically, this is about how fast I should be running based on IR rating, because the only time I am ever finishing 8th is when guys wreck out, and they haven't really done too much of that so far. So I don't get those free spots, you know, roughly three free spots that I would normally get. So this is about where I'd probably deserve to be. So this is just a race where I don't get freebies, or not given free handouts <laughs> this race. So that's what happens. Kind of just uh, equal with these guys, I think. You know, there's some corners where I'm a little better and some corners where they get a little distance on me. So not too much to speak of at the moment. Still only about uh, halfway through the race though. If I'm, you know, let's see, so uh, yeah, just a little under halfway. Well, plenty can happen still. I think second gear is the way to go. In that final corner. Seems to fit for me anyway. You can feel the car getting a little bit more nimble. I'm up to this guy's bumper. And maybe I can find a way to get past him. We do it without rear ending the poor lad. I don't seem to have much speed on that final corner, which is killer because you kind of need that speed heading into long straightaways. So maybe it would benefit me to figure out how that works. Trying to get the thing to turn. So we got a slow guy driving on the apex because reasons. Okay, he's gonna back out though, so that's cool of him, I suppose. Almost got a rear ending there. And I guess the three took that corner pretty soft or something. I'm trying to push it get distance, get close to this guy, but, man. Can't quite figure it out. Hopefully the two car doesn't try to catch up or anything, because it's probably pretty fast getting through the corners and stuff. But he's just got no engine power, so I really don't want him coming up on me. Alright, that guy took that corner really poorly. 
really got to try to capitalize on all these mistakes, but how does one do that? I'm not the one to answer. Ooh, almost got on the rumble strip there and lost it. The car is getting slightly more nimble as the time goes on, but it's not quite as much as I thought it might. you're not very good when the guy with a broken engine's keeping up with you. I tried third gear that time. Kinda felt gross. Didn't like it too much. Just uh, thought it would be turning a little better by now, you know? It's usually how it feels. It does get a little offline there, but man, just nothing. Gaining nothing. It feels like I'm so stuck. Apparently able to keep up even with his bad engine, I guess maybe because of draft, but I wish he would kind of go away. <laughs> you know, maybe a little bit. Oh god, do we have to try to make a pass? Yeah, tried to look to the inside, thought maybe he would You know, give us a room or something, thinking I was gonna dive it in, but nah. fast laps. I don't know. Man. Is it, it might just be because the guys in front of me, you know, I'm not able to drive in as hard as I would like to. So maybe that's where I'm losing all my time that I would normally have. And uh, there's just like basically no draft in this car. Oh, that's a thing. That's a thing that's Go happening right, right push, push. there. Whoa. Wow. Okay, well. I forgot how to shift in that corner because that was all going on, but <laughs> we got a merry-go-round car in a couple free spots. There are the three I was missing. What'd I tell you? That's how I get here. <laughs> three cars wreck out, and I end up in eighth. I think eye reading is pretty accurate. I don't know what you guys think, but I think eye reading usually works out how you'd expect it to. I wasn't the 8th fastest car, but I rating said I was going to be finishing 8th, and right now that's looking like a pretty good prediction. I almost feel like this car is getting worse as time is going on. Maybe I'm getting worse as time goes on, but I swear normally I can start hitting faster laps once the, once the tires are warm and the car's a little lighter because it burned out fuel. Oh, well, we got more freebies? If I won't get one free? What's happening? Go right. Oh, hello. That was a 104, 104. I'll take an extra spot a lap. If you're giving them away, I racing. I'll go off course. Thank you. I got a 1x already for no reason. These guys are like racing hard or something. They look like they're kind of losing where they are. Try not to let this lap car behind me get me nervous. I think he's being patient and not trying to get in the way, but he's still back there and it's making me think about things I don't want to think about. So theoretically we're in seventh now. Because that guy was uh, in third. 
whenever whatever happens to him. Okay, using the curb to turn the car a little bit. It's effective, but I just worry about uh, taking it too far and regretting it. Though I would like this thing to turn a little better. Freebies? Buy two, get one free. There we go. Slow car on the left. Oh man, they're going again. I'm all the way back here. Where even if they wreck, it doesn't matter. Unless he's damaged. And it does matter, and it looks like he is, because look who's getting past. Other guy. Now we're really going to find out, because we have a lot of uh, straightaway ahead. Is that guy blocking? I would hope he's not blocking with a damaged car. What flag? What that's flag? pretty poopy. If that's what you're doing, my friend. That's what poopy people do block with broken cars. White flag. One more to go. Got Professor Poopy Pants up here. Did I shift into fourth? What am I doing? Okay, traffic jam. I don't think I'm making a pass this whole race, man. I think all my uh, passes are going to come from Rex. I've been able to keep up with them all race, but... <sighs> Just, no. You don't get enough drive off, I swear. It just is not happening for me. One of those guys are being uh, a couple of weirdos. I guess that guy held on. All right, good for him, I guess. Here we go, in the curb. Look how fast we are. No. And not a single pass was made that day. Okay, bye. <laughs> Getting off the track now. Seventh place. Supposed to finish eighth. Probably should have finished twelfth. But, um... Eh? I'll probably lose like two I rating or something. That's kind of how these races have been ending up for me lately. Gain a tiny bit of safety rating because I'll get like a 1x or something. You know, finish mid pack and lose like two I rating or gain like four or something. <laughs> just staying where I am. So apparently this is just who I be. Told you this Ferrari guy was fast. Cheating. No, no, he's not cheating. I don't know this guy. <laughs> but. You know, his uh, last name gave him some extra horsepower, and so he got second. So, good for him, Mr. Ferrari. Um, Mr. Tyndall, back here, got seventh, because I don't have a cool last name. Although, that's not fair. It's a cool last name. I can't say that. My family is cool. We're cool, guys, I swear. Okay, what am I talking about? Everyone's annoyed with me, so. <laughs> Let me uh, watch these incidents. Give the people what they want. That thing off the screen. So this is lap one, turn one. That's the little bump we saw right there. Is that what damaged that guy? Sorry. Is that what damaged that guy? Because uh, he kind of... Yeah, he deserved it. Because <laughs> that's the second time he's just punted someone. Alright, I guess he's gotten to the number two spot just by taking people out from behind. So... Assume he damaged his engine and the uh, karma flowed all through him. So. This is getting more. Uh oh. Did someone run into you from behind, Tangerine? That sucks. Holy smokes. Seven was Tokyo drifting around the corner. I don't know if they were really that fast or if they just overdrove it that hard, but either way, we ended up with contact. And that's the merry-go-round we saw. As we uh, sneak on by for our free three spots. Oh, that white car, that sucks. 
Nothing you can really do about that. Wrong place at the wrong time. And he spins onto the track. <laughs> and we get what's basically a Three Stooges sketch. Well, we got someone in the pit lane, I guess. Thrilling action. Where that was, I think they were just both heading to the same spot on the track. We got uh, twins here. One of them evil. Oh, revenge from the twin. Okay. And then that's the guy that was Blocky McGee. Okay, I remember now. I don't know if he was really block. I mean. He was really blocking, but I don't know if it's because he had damage or whatever. I just know that he was being a little bit, uh, you know. <laughs> but that was just, uh, you know, like trying to choose their line through the corner, defensive lines and whatnot. And that was that was it. That's all we had to see. So we did not finish fourth. We finished seventh. Started eighth. Eighth car. Seventh place. Average, 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 but we didn't wreck. And we got to see some entertaining wrecks. So that's something. And that is Sakuba, if I'm saying that right, at, uh, with the Mazda. Yeah, professional sign-off here. <laughs> see you next time.